As the only race team to win the so-called Triple Crown, we cannot blame McLaren for shoving the impressive feat to our faces to celebrate its 60th anniversary. The British Mark's latest entry is the 3759 theme on the McLaren 750 created by McLaren Special Operations MSO. The public reveal was held at the Velocity Invitational at the Sonoma Raceway in California, where the 750 featured the color schemes of the three Triple Crown winning McLaren cars. These include the M16D driven by Johnny Rutherford at the 1974 Indy 500, the MP42 driven by Elaine Prost at the 1984 Monaco Grand Prix, and the F1 GTR driven by Yannick Dalmas, Masanori Sakia, and JJ Leto at the 1995 24 Hours of Le Mans. MSO used more than 20 colors for the street art-esque exterior paint scheme. The white and red theme on the front end is a nod to the F1 car, while the gray motif in the middle portion is inspired by the Le Mans car. At the back, the orange paint is a reference to the Indy 500 car, paired with blue as the numbers and decals were finished in this color. If you haven't guessed by now, the 3759 moniker is a combination of the racing numbers of the aforementioned cars, 3 for the M16D, 7 for the MP42, and 59 for the F1 GTR. Inside, the cabin is stuffed with the Triple Crown logo complemented by white contrast stitching. It also has a hidden detail in the form of a dedication plaque that pays homage to the brand's successes in F1. Other interior bits include a 12 o'clock marker on the steering wheel rim and hand-painted extended carbon fiber shift paddles in the color of the MP42. The 4.0-liter M840T twin-turbo V8 from the 720s is untouched here making 740 horsepower and 590 of torque. It features a shorter final drive ratio that slightly improves the acceleration. The supercar can complete it from 0-60 mph in 2.7 seconds. Available on the Coupe and Spider, McLaren only produces six examples with unique variations of the 3759 theme, all of which have already been sold. As we celebrate the 60th anniversary of McLaren being founded, we of course, reflect on our legacy of pushing boundaries, both in motorsport and more recently supercar and hypercar excellence, said Michael Leiters, McLaren Automotive CEO. As mentioned earlier, this isn't the first Triple Crown tribute McLaren put out this year. During the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix, the McLaren F1 team ran with the Triple Crown livery on their cars with both drivers finishing in the points P9 and P10. The automaker also offers anniversary options for its series production cars, 